Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all things plotter. I meant to have this video up a long time ago. So what you will see in this video are three different shots. One is this original unboxing which was filmed in August and then you'll see an update in September and then you'll see one which is the present day here in October. But yes, so this is me unboxing my first plotter. I chose the Pueblo leather in the color navy. However, I think I would have been happy with the brown one as well. I was kind of trying to figure out which one I really wanted. I would have definitely chosen the green from the bridal leather had they had it available in the Bible size. That was the size I was leaning towards. I just thought that that would be perfect for what I'm kind of used to at the moment, but I do find this mini five tempting now that I've been using a plotter for a bit now. So anyway, yes, I chose the navy. It is a beautiful deep blue color and it has these beautiful gold accents. I've actually never been a fan of rings. I did try using rings in Webster's Pages and Recollections from Michaels and I just, I was never really a rings person. However, after watching so many videos of the plotter, I definitely just wanted to try it out because it just looks so much fun. This is definitely a splurge. I bought this for my birthday and I just wanted to see for myself all of the hype and I'm loving it. I have been using it as a planner and an idea like notebook and it has been working out wonderfully so far. My first purchased plotter included the binder, the bandwidth lifter, the two lifters, and then some grid paper because I just wanted to see exactly how the paper felt and then how the system itself was feeling and really I was just excited to try it out. I do still plan on purchasing an A6 Hobonichi because I definitely want that one piece collab. I'm just counting down and hoping that Yoseka will get them soon but I decided to see if this would work for me as a planner. I wanted to see if I even needed a pen loop. Testing it out here I deconstructed a little pocket planner that I had or a calendar and I've just been using the grid paper to make myself weekly inserts. It is just such a sleek design, it's so pretty, it's so fun to carry around. I am just loving it. I've been using it already for almost two months now and I am really enjoying it. It's pretty comparable to the B6 size that I'm journaling in right now, so it is easy to carry around with me on a daily basis. Here is my setup a couple of weeks after getting it. I created this cute little dashboard and I'm using adhesive pockets to put on it so that I can stash some stickers and pictures and the first few pages are like my to-do list, what I want to buy or keep track of, and here is that deconstructed calendar I'm using and I decided to just use some of the grid paper so that I could replicate a weekly view. Um, it's pretty it's pretty messy but I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun and I like how it looks. I ended up putting in a second order where I purchased a pen loop this mesh case in the green color because you know I figured why not have a special case for it. I also ended up purchasing the ring protectors. Um, I forgot the actual name of what this is but it's supposed to protect the side of the leather from the rings. You know any excuse to make the the binder last longer I'm all for. I am really enjoying this ring system which I thought would be hard for me to get into because I just I haven't been a fan of rings and the reason I haven't been a fan of rings is because of ring gaps. They happen, I understand that, sometimes they're unavoidable, but it always annoys me and you know a bound notebook you don't really have to worry about things like this. So things were going great with my rings and then I started noticing that they had some gaps and I'm was just, I was so frustrated with it. I actually reached out to Plotter and they gave me some suggestions on how all like home remedies on how I can fix them if they're not too serious. And they were really quick about it. And they even said that if I couldn't fix it, that they would even consider, you know, giving me a new one and stuff. So their customer service was really, really nice. I, it, it worked for a bit and then the gaps just came back. So I don't know. It was kind of frustrating for me, but I just kind of got over it. Here is my most recent kind of flip through. I've added a few more stickers, you know, and it's like I said, the, the ring gaps have just kind of been there, but not really an issue at this point. 
I then saw the release for or like the announcement for the fifth anniversary and I had to purchase it because it is an olive cover in the Bible size. So here is the unboxing of the fifth anniversary edition of Plotter and it is in the Lucio, I believe is how you say it. It is beautiful. You can barely see the like product information in the back, but the quote on the front is just so nice to look at. I love this handwriting. I don't know whose writing this is, but it is absolutely beautiful and I just love the little quote and I love the rose gold accents. And here are the two colors next to the Traveler's Company counterparts, you could say. I am definitely loving the fifth anniversary green versus the olive edition. Here they are next to each other. You can really see the difference of the gold bracket and the rose gold bracket. I have decided to switch everything over and I am going to be selling my navy one because I just don't have a use for it. I also purchased this top loading envelope from Filofax along with some Filofax paper just to test it out. It is in the personal size which fits perfectly in this. And then I just played around more with the placement of each lifter. I'm not exactly Exactly sure if the end lifters are really doing anything but I purchased them so I'm going to use them but I'm really really loving the Filofax pastel dot grid paper it's a little bit thicker though so keep in mind when you are purchasing like other inserts from other companies because they might be a little bit thicker and you really don't want to overstuff the rings which I don't feel like I'm doing that but you know I just have a few pages here and there and then I remove pages when I don't need them anymore. I don't know. I'm, I'm very scared to overstuff, but I do want to maintain having, you know, the information that I want in here. And I think when I do start having the actual like calendar and, and weekly pages, I'll have to really adjust a bit, but I can figure that out next year when I actually start using my new 2023 inserts. Well, that's all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you like using a ring planner or journal, and I will catch you in the next video.